Hi guys, I just got to Salvation Army and I've only been to the Salvation Army maybe like three times. I don't have much time, maybe like an hour in here, so I figured why not film it? The other day we went to, my sister and I, went to a thrift store which is more like an antique store. There was like affordable stuff in there. I think I googled thrift stores and that came up, but like inside of it was more like an antique store. Like there was like booths and stuff and like higher priced antique stuff so I consider it an antique store even though everything I found was like very affordable so I have a video on that I'll link it up in the card somewhere over here if you guys want to check it out I found some really cool stuff and not that much stuff normally my hauls get like out of hand and they're pretty big and that one was like a decent sized haul probably the smallest one I've had but still I feel like the shopping portion of the video was more interesting like I feel like normally with my thrift videos like the shopping portion is kind of short because I'm like shy to pull my camera out in public but then like the haul portion is very long and takes up most of the video this time it was the opposite <laughs> I did a lot more filming like in the store and even when we went out to eat it was more like a vlog style I don't know where my confidence came from that day but you guys should check it out so I'm going to run in here real quick and see what we can find because I'm not in this area that often and we've got to be quick because I have about an hour before I need to get home because my sister found like a wardrobe she wants to get so I need to go get my husband's truck and we need to go pick it up and it closes at 5. It is currently 2.50 so I want to head home around 3.30 or four that gives me like an hour I'm gonna try to keep it under an hour here so that we can have some time to shop around at that antique store again there's some things that I noticed that I wanted to get and I forgot because like they don't have shopping carts so sometimes I'll look around and I'll like keep an eye out on what I want and then come back and get it so I want to go back and then also whenever I this is such a long intro but whenever I edit videos sometimes I spot something like in the video that I didn't see in person so I'm like I need to go look at that again but yeah we're gonna run in here quickly we're gonna be quick this isn't gonna be too long of a video hopefully <laughs> actually I normally keep my videos under 30 minutes and that's always my goal but my last two videos were pretty long like that antique shopping video was like 37 ish minutes and then the video I posted before that was like 40 something minutes, which is a long time. I tried cutting it down as much as possible because I'm like, nobody's going to want to watch that long of a video. That's why I try to keep it like under 20, like under 30 minutes for sure. Anyways, let's go see what we can find. I need to stop talking because I only have like 10%. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. But it's $60 for this set. It is a pretty big set, but I wish I had cups. These are nice too, but these lids look kind of yellow. Guys, I see these everywhere. I have a set of four of these cups. And then, like I started, after I bought them, I started seeing these everywhere. It's insane how much I see them. So now I don't care about having the whole set. I wish this had a lid. I need something like this to put like baking powder for the laundry room. But there's no lid. Oh, that's cute. Oh my god, I think I've seen your YouTube channel. This is so cute. It's like stained, very light purple. And then this is cute. But the gold is coming off. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. It almost goes with my brown set that I have looks similar to the dishes I saw at the antique store but it's not quite right. <laughs> this is kind of cool. There's only one of them though. 
This might work for a magazine rack, but I kind of wanted a wooden one. It's $3.99. And the magazines won't be able to like stay straight up. They're gonna have to probably like curve in here. This mirror is so gorgeous, but the more I try to adjust it and like push it back, the more it falls forward and I, it wasn't like this. It was standing pretty straight when I came up to it. Why isn't it, maybe I need to do this and let it, I don't know. What did I do to it? Why is it falling forward now? It's $40. What did I do to it? <laughs> Guys, I fixed it. I just tightened this. What do you guys think about this? Is it cute? I look like a mess, but I don't know. It's forty dollars. It's really cute. Can you imagine my OOTDs in here? I'm having a hard time deciding, and it is pretty rusty down here. This blanket is so gorgeous, and it's only six ninety nine, but there's so many stains on it. So I don't think I'm gonna get it. The texture is so pretty. Guys. <laughs> Why is the lighting so dark? Anyways, I'm getting better at saying no to myself. Believe it or not. Anyway. I was just shopping inside and I met one of my viewers. I don't know if you're subscribed or not. I I don't know why I'm talking to you as if you as if I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself. So something wild just happened. I met one of my viewers. I don't know if you're gonna watch this. He mentioned he saw my last video where I shopped here. He said it popped up on his feed, so I don't know if he's subscribed or if he's going to continue watching my videos. But if you are, thank you for watching my video. That literally made my day. That was like such an unreal moment. Like I know my family or like some of my Instagram followers watch my videos, but like to meet someone that I don't know at all, like through Instagram or like obviously my friends or family, it was just such a like surreal moment. Thank you. It made my day. Thanks for like coming up to me and telling me you watch my videos. That was so sweet of you. Anyway, what time is it? I did not pay attention to it. It's 3.33. Oh wait, that's perfect. Okay, we'll be home like around four-ish. And again, I didn't buy that much stuff. Guys, I am learning some self-discipline. I got like a couple of things, but anyway. I mean, I know it looks like a lot with the two bags, but I think I got like four items. Not that much. So I guess I can do a little haul in the car. Why not? I hope the car noise isn't loud. I think in a past video you can hear the car on. Okay, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off for you guys. <laughs> okay, so we just left Salvation Army and I went down the street to Wellspring Treasures. You guys have seen a few hauls from that thrift store a few times for me by now. Well, maybe you haven't, but I have posted a few like thrift hauls from that store already. It's a cute little like mom and pop shop thrift store. It's a missionary thrift store. So I think they donate the money they earn to charity. I don't know exactly where it goes, but I know it's like a missionary thrift store. So we're gonna go check it out, see what we can find. It's mostly clothes. It's more like a boutique thrift store, but they do have some like home like items, home decor and kitchen stuff, which I normally find something good in. So let's go see what they have today. Hopefully I find something good, but if I don't, it's okay because self-discipline. Gotta, gotta train myself. <laughs>
Okay guys, I didn't find much at the second. Oh, there's little cats running around. Anyway, I didn't find much at the second thrift store, but I got like two pieces of jewelry. By the way, I'm already home. Sorry if like the, the frames go like back and forth in scenery. I went to um, Salvation Army first and then I showed you guys a haul in the car and then I decided I was gonna go across the street to the other thrift store. So I decided to just like push that footage in the middle of the video and then put the haul portion of it together at the end. So now like the clips are like weird. I don't know if that made any sense to you guys, but I found these really cute earrings. Are they focused? Really cute earrings and then this necklace which I think I'm gonna give to my mom. Even though this looks really cute together. So I spent like $3.50, I think. That's all I got there. <laughs> now we're gonna cut to the outro that I did in the Salvation Army parking lot. <laughs> I don't know why I always feel like I need to have a professional setting to do the hauls, so I always wait to get home. And like I mentioned before, it always gets dark by the time I get home because it gets dark at like pretty much five now. That's why I can't wait for summers. I love summer and spring. I, I can't stand winter time. Anyway, I found, oh, I didn't notice that. There's like a little damage to it. Oh well, they were $3.99 and I just found these little like nude chunky heel and I figured, I mean nude matches with everything so you can't go wrong. And then I found this little cute like beach bag <laughs> another wicker bag if you guys want to see um like a bag collection video let me know because most of my bags are thrifted i feel like that's going to be the exciting part of the collection is all the like unique thrifted stuff like look at that like handle like all these little like beads and stuff it reminds me of like rocks you would find from the beach or something i don't know reminds me of rocks i thought that was cute for the beach time for the beach in the summertime. <laughs> anyway. All right, the next, the next, wait till you're done. The next thing I found was, of course, another wine glass. I feel like I have similar ones. This is pretty heavy. I don't know if I have like this exact same one, but this looks similar to ones I already have. And you guys know, why did I do that? You guys know I'm collecting like wine glasses for like larger parties and stuff like that. And I don't mind if they're mix, mis, mismatched or mix matched. I don't know how you say it. Mismatched? Do both terms work? Anyway, so I got that. It was 99 cents. And then I got a pink blazer. I was about to say pink is the only color blazer I don't have. An orange. But I do have a pink blazer. I bought one recently, but it's like hot pink, not like this color pink. So I bought this blazer to add to my blazer collection. And this one's really like different from what I have because it has like a fitted form. It's almost like a blouse shape. I, I don't know, it looked really pretty on. And it has like these cute folded sleeves and It has like these cute folded sleeves and it was $4.99 but I think green was 50% off so this was like $2.50. I don't know. I thought that was really cute. Maybe I'll try it on for you guys at home if it doesn't get dark. There's so much noise going on. Okay guys, I'm headed home. As soon as I get home, I'm headed to that antique store again. I was literally there the other day, like two days ago. But I'm going back and I might film again. We'll see. So if anything, if I do film, then I got to end this video and start that one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this one was so short and like quick and simple and straight to the point. Let me know if you like these shorter videos better or the longer videos better. Comment down below. But thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend if you're feeling extra generous, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.